Dear friends, I'm not yet tired. You know what I mean? Like, what? All right, today I'm checking out Daisy Chainsaw. I'm listening to the song Pink Flower. Let's get into it. I'm pulling on some lyrics. Man, I still have not found my spot in the lyrics. I want to know what she's saying. But the vocalist is definitely giving some vibes that would be similar to Bjork. Is anybody else hearing that? Or is it just me? Is this like Bjork's like cousin or something? You know what I'm saying? It's just, it, it's eerily similar to Bjork in the style and the like little fairy kind of sound. The music is pretty intense, so it's kind of hard to make out the vocals, but it's a good vocalist. You know what I mean? It's a good vibe. I love Bjork. And so anyone who sounds somewhat similar to Bjork, I'm sure I'm going to love. I just need to dig the vocals out, you know? Once you can find your spot in the lyrics and you can hear the vocals much better if you have lyrics to read along too. It's weird how it works, but it works. Do I have the wrong lyrics? Why can't I find it? The lyrics say, Daisy Chainsaw, Pink Flower. The song says, Daisy Chainsaw, Pink Flower, but I can't find my spot.
I finally found my spot in the lyrics for like the last two lines. I got tricked by this big old ad. I thought this was the end of the lyrics, but there was a whole section down here. So I got to see the last two lines. The very last line says, I've not yet grown tired of this, of my earthly life, which makes so much sense. That means that she has some kind of extraterrestrialness to her. If she calls this her earthly life, like us humans, we don't call it our earthly life. That means she is some kind of other creature. And that, that kind of helps me understand the sound, even the music. They had some sounds in there like, you know what I mean? There's that sounds that were otherworldly. I was thinking it's almost like maybe, I don't know, man, some kind of rock or punk or alt rock or something, but with a, a member in the band who's from another planet, like some kind of alien adding in some sound effects and, you know, I wouldn't quite say screeches, but like things like that in there. It sounded like alien rock or alien punk or something like that. I couldn't even really put a genre box around it, but it was in somewhere in that um, umbrella of rock with alien influence. The vocals were so cool though. I appreciated that part at the end when they dropped the music off. Coincidentally, that's when I found my spot on the lyric sheet. So I was able to hear that little ending part. No clue the song is about because that's the only part I was able to hit, um, find the lyrics. But I appreciated that part so much when they let us hear the vocals a lot. It sounded like she was struggling to sing, but I mean, that's art. You know, she's, I, I doubt she's in the studio and someone's like trying to attack her and she's out of breath. That's her art. That's her expression. It, to me, it sounded so cool. You know, super quirky. And she's like, hey, dear friends, I'm not yet tired. You know what I mean? Like, what? What on earth? And that's the beauty of music, though. People are just going to keep pushing the boundary further and further and further. A hundred years from now, what does a quirky, creative song sound like? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, a, I'm not a musician like that. I don't know how to push the boundary any further than what we've gone. We have so many creative artists that express their creativity in different ways. But you know, just the way the world works, it's going to keep going. It's going to keep advancing. People are going to get more creative and find different ways to do it. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. You the go. She told me, boy, you the go. Like, I don't know. But I don't know.